Springbok coach Hana Kamea is expected to announce his 31-man Rugby World Cup squad this evening in Durban. Emphasis is likely to be on versatility. Players who can play in more than one position will have the upper hand and experience will also carry a lot of weight. We now cross live to our reporter Simon Burke who is at the venue. Simon, what is the mood like as we wait for the big announcement? It's very quiet here in Umkhlanga. This is where the Springbok uh, team will be announced at the, the very swanky Beverly Hills Hotel. The Springboks like to do it in style, but the wind has picked up, the sea is restless, and it seems like something's a flutter. Not just yet, but something's brewing. Around about six o'clock, we should know what all the fuss was about. Simon, any clue as to who is going to the World Cup at this stage? Mayor plays his cards close to his chest, but he has kind of relied on a few core players throughout this year, throughout last year. We can expect those guys, the likes of Jean de Villiers, Skulkberger, Victor Matfield. He's even going to try, I think, and get Fouri Dupria back into the mix, Ruan Pina. A lot of the old heads are coming in, but he's also been talking up youngsters like Peter Steph Dutoy um, and, and, and those kind of players. They've all been out there. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of surprises. I don't know if a lot of people are coming back in from, from the wilderness. But there are clues that perhaps he's had to readdress his, his game plan after a losing tri uh, for a rugby championship where he lost all three matches, only to recover with a match against Argentina later where he had to bring in new recruits and mix things up a little bit. But he does like to, to lean on, on the experience that he knows he has in the squad. Simon, let's look at the issue of transformation. Now, do you think it will reflect in his announcement today? It might to a certain degree, but I don't think there's going to be wholesale changes based on what was said in the media or the flack that he came in for. Perhaps where he was going to choose, for instance, say uh, eight players, he might add a ninth player of color. But I'm not expecting any, any wholesale changes. As I say, the, the tricky thing for Mayer is that he hasn't actually tested out a lot of players in this season, in these warm-up matches for the World Cup. So he hasn't really shopped around and looked at his options. He's stuck with what he knows. If he's going to suddenly throw in a couple of curveballs right at the zero hour in the 31-man squad, bearing in mind 49 players started out at the beginning of the international season vying for these 31 places, if he's going to suddenly now drop in a couple, then it will look like he really is trying to pander to the critics. But I think he's going to stick to his guns. He has got a slight bit of transformation. Will it touch the 30% uh, uh, threshold that Saru has said it should? We don't know this yet, but I don't think there's going to be any surprises. Simon, you mentioned um, warm-up matches. Now, would you say that experience will definitely carry a lot of weight here, that that's what his focus will be on? I don't know. It's hard to read, Heine Kamea. You would think that maybe, you know, after this run of internationals, he might have got the message, but it, perhaps a little bit too late. Um, it's hard to know what he's going to do. He is a creature of habit. He does like to revert to what he knows best. Remember, he was a very successful coach in provincial and regional rugby. Um, and he took a model, and he took players that he knew, and he took them forward. This is his big show. He was announced as the Springbok coach in 2012. This is what it's all been building up to. And I think that's why I say not a lot of surprises. He knows the players he wants. He knows the players he can rely on. He, he knows the players he thinks can perform for the country. And those are the players he's going to back. We'll have to leave it there, Simon. Thanks for the update. That was our reporter, Simon Burke, giving us the latest from the Springbok team announcement. In